Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, and today we are unboxing the BoxyCharm Base Box for May 2022. All right guys, if you are new to my channel, I do mostly unboxings and makeup related videos. So if those are the types of videos you're into, then please subscribe. If you're new or unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, this is the base box. It's 27 and some change, I think now. The prices keep changing, but um, we're gonna go with 27 and some change. Five full-size makeup products, skincare, makeup related type products in here and um yeah I really like this subscription box if you want more information I do have a link in the description box down below so go ahead and check it out down there but let's get in here I did receive an email before receiving this box stating that I was going to receive a repeat product for which they did give me a $12 I believe credit in the BoxyCharm drop shop or whatever i have a 12 dollars credit with boxy charm for the repeat product that's going to be in here so now that being said i did open this box already and use some products on my face because i thought the unboxing might be kind of boring being there's a repeat product in here and so i just went ahead and opened it i wanted to see what the product exactly was going to be so i was prepared whatever yada 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 let's get on with the unboxing um, this is the card. So Super Bloom apparently is the theme. This all has all of our information, prices of our products. So let's go ahead and get started. I did use three, taking them out just a second. I did use three of the five products in the box. I was able to use three. So that was, it was really great. I was excited to use these products. So, um, we're going to go through, let's, um, start with the repeat product. So Let's just get that out of the way. I did receive this product in my box a few months ago, I believe. Now, I haven't gotten around to using mine. I do have it set aside in my um, um, stockpile, I guess you'd say, because I do want to use this and see what it's all about. But this is the Gloasis Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner, and this retails for $34. So that was my repeat item. So um, I'll probably either throw this up on my Poshmark or save it for a future giveaway. I'm not sure yet, but um, I might use the one I have and just like fall in love with it and you need it for myself. So we'll see what happens to this in the future, but that was my repeat item. Now, next, let's go with my choice item. And my choice item is, in fact, one of the items that I used in my makeup look today. So now this right here is Item Beauty. And Item Beauty, if you do not know, is by Addison Ray. She is a TikToker. I am only familiar with her because my daughter really liked her and she would always talk about her and she has a movie and she made me watch it. Anyway, Item Beauty is by Addison Ray, and I did choose this concealer as my choice item. Now I received it in shade 200. Well, I chose it in shade 200. I just guessed. That was my best guess. I could do but anyway let me just this this retails for $18 now in a past box I also received a mascara from item beauty which I am also wearing today I really loved that mascara so I chose this as my choice product because I wanted to try more products from her brand and this did not disappoint it is concealer I do have it on let me pop it out of the box so you guys can see it this is what the packaging looks like it is very cute I love the packaging Love the doe foot applicator. I will say a little goes a long way with this product. So keep that in mind. I really do love it though. I was messing around putting my makeup on for about an hour <laughs> or so. So this is what it's looking like so far. I think it still looks fabulous. So there's that. The next product in here came in this box here, but I did take it out because it is another product that I used in my makeup application today. It is a sponge by Yensa. I love makeup sponges. I use them for my foundation, my concealer, sometimes my blush. If I'm using cream products, I'll use them for my blush. And um, I don't think I've ever used cream bronzer or concealer. So I just stick to cream blush though. I do really like cream blush. I've been loving it lately. So I do use makeup sponges a lot. I have a whole basket full of them. But um, yes, this one was fabulous. I really liked it. This is it dampened. So it was smaller and it was in this box. But um... This Yensa Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge retails for $18. The next product in the box I was not able to use. I believe this is a skincare 
product. I really didn't even read it. I just looked at the three makeup items and I was like, oh, I'm going to use these. And I left the two skincare-ish items. So this is a Serum Glow Filter Hydro Micro Capsule. A unique serum with rare gold hibiscus extract that acts as a makeup base to smooth and even skin tone while helping provide brightness and anti-aging benefits. It also helps make pores less visible and gives a pearl finish. Well, darn, I should have read this before I did my makeup. I could have used this. I could have used this product as well, but I thought it was just a serum, so I did not. And it turns out it is like a primer too. So directions, use one to two pumps before makeup as a primer to brighten skin. Even skin tone and help reduce the appearance of lines. Darn it. <laughs> so anyway, this is awesome. I cannot wait to use this. Let's take it out of the box because um, I took it out and I looked at it and it is beautiful. I love the packaging. The product is stunning. Can you see this? It's just gorgeous. And I wish I would have read it so I could have used it. Darn it. But anyway, um, the retail value on this is $50. So it also has a nice retail value with it for this 27 and some change dollar box. <laughs> so I cannot wait to use this. I wish I would have read it so I could have used it, um, but I will definitely be using this. So let's move on to the final product in the box, which is my lip product that I'm wearing in the video today and the last product that I used out of the products in here. Um, so this last product here is by... V Cosmetic. I've never heard of this brand before and they spell cosmetic K-O-S-M-E-T-I-K. So V Cosmetic, I think. And it is Creamy Liquid Velvet Lipstick. And here it is on my lips. Um, I tried to do the no dip lip stick look, but it doesn't work for me. I can't figure out how to get it to work. If anybody has any tips, let me know in the comments down below. I hate liquid lipsticks usually. Like, I love, I have a love-hate relationship with liquid lipsticks. <laughs> I hate my lips. That's the problem, really. The underlying fact here. I hate my lips, so um, I have an issue with liquid lipsticks because I never can make them, get them to look right. And lip liner, I've never liked lip liner because I feel like I don't have enough lip to line it. So I don't, I don't know. I just have trouble with my lips. I never like doing them. But anyway, this is, it's a beautiful color. It went on nice. It's kind of drying down. I wish it was a little bit more, not so matte and dry maybe, but like if, if I put a gloss over top of it, I'm sure it would look just as fantastic and glossier. But um, did I tell you the retail value on this? The retail value on this was $22. So I like it well enough. The color is definitely pretty. Let me take it out of the box and show you the packaging. I, duh, getting away with myself here. So here is what it looks like, actually. I've never heard of this brand before. Let me know in the comments down below if you've heard of this V Cosmetic. Um, I've never heard of it, but it's a beautiful color, like I said. Um, looks a little darker on the lips than it did in the tube. This is just two coats of this color. That's it. I didn't put anything else on top of it. So, um... I just wanted to see what it was going to actually look like and wear like. So that was my test. <laughs> um, that was everything that I received in this box. Let me get it all together and I will show you it one more time and recap it and give you guys a final retail total of the entire box. Alright guys, so here is everything that we received in the box for May 2022. Um, the total retail value of this box was $142, which was a fabulous retail value in my opinion. These boxes always have a great retail value. The, the money is definitely, the value or whatever that you pay for your money is definitely there. These four items right here are the items that I most definitely got. This whole box would have been a hit 100%. Had this item been something great besides a repeat item but i have not used this product yet so this could be an amazing product that i will love and i will be happy that i have two bottles of but i probably will put this in a future giveaway but um anyway these four items out of this total box plus the 12 dollar credit i got for this item that makes this box fantastic anyway um but yes i cannot wait to use this i cannot wait to use this i wish i would have read this so i could have used this darn it. But anyway, that was the box. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. 
Let me know if you get BoxyCharm what you got in your box. I will definitely have to go watch some unboxing videos. I got my box kind of early. So I'm hoping to get this video done and get it out so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below, like I said, what you got in your BoxyCharm this month. What you thought of this BoxyCharm this month. And um, I really liked it. I thought it was a great box. So... <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who has stayed tuned and watched this entire unboxing video. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the gray bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!